Hey, folks, welcome to In The Money Stocks. Dot com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Tuesday, January 15th, 2019. Well, folks, we're now at the underbelly of my low end of the target, 260. We actually pierced it today. 260.04 is the high, but I still think the markets have a little bit more upside to them. But I like the fact that the target has now been the low end at least achieved. Now let's just fine tune it with the market maybe getting to about the 262 level right here, folks. See, this retracement to the scene of the crime. I've been updating you on this chart since basically the lows. When I, everyone else was ready to jump out of a window thinking the markets were going to collapse, we went long in the research center at InTheMoneyStocks.com with members and ultimately look at the, what the market has done. Now, over the last few days, I've been taking profits off the table. I still have a few longs left out there, but now I'm going to continue to remove them. And I actually started to initiate short positions. Now, I'm just dipping the toe in the water because, as I said, I still think we go up a little bit more, but I want to get a little bit of exposure to the downside on various things out there. And again, I'm not going to tell you what those are because those are member positions. I gave them out to the Research Center members today. But nonetheless, that is exactly what I think is going to occur here. So we basically are on borrowed time. I think the market has another few days going into the weekend of upside, maybe to 262 and change or so, uh, which would uh, coordinate right with the 50 moving average and this retrace to this trend line here. And then once you achieve that, then I do think starting next week, you'll see either a top put in or a turnaround where the market starts selling off sharply and things get really nasty to the downside again. I think we retrace to 250 in a matter of days, could be as early as next week. And again, we'll go from there. Um, a couple charts I'm eyeing for potential shorts, but haven't achieved them yet. Take a look at Citigroup. Citigroup had earnings yesterday. The stock opened lower, then reversed and continues up today. Look at yesterday here, today here. Look at that gap fill right there. So basically anything above two, uh, $62 is a great opportunity to short, and I am eyeing that very, very closely. Another stock I actually like on the long side, that one's short, obviously. That would be a short on Citigroup, but overstock.com I actually like here. We bought it yesterday in the Research Center already up on the position, but look at this nice little bull flag pattern, consolidation bull flag, and it's also kind of a... Um, you know, basically like a proxy for Bitcoin. And I actually really like Bitcoin down here. Um, I continue to just slowly accumulate. And uh, ultimately, I think it's going to have another move up here in the 2019 year. And because Overstock accepts payments in Bitcoin, and then they ultimately don't convert all those back to cash, they've been keeping some of them. In fact, I just heard that they're going to pay their taxes in Bitcoin this year, which is really kind of cool. But um, Basically, not only is it an online retailer, uh, you know, com competitor to, to Amazon and basically at the dead lows of the chart here, but if Bitcoin starts to get its mojo back, then this is going to be a recipient. And I like having those two avenues as a potential profit maker for myself. A couple other charts that I've been watching, haven't shorted them yet, but take a look here at the Russell. The Russell, you have the 50 MA and this retrace right here. So basically above 145 is a general target on the Russell. And look at the Q's today. The Q's actually hitting and piercing the 50 moving average. I love this chart here. That is a great little chart right there, uh, hitting the 50 MA. Could it go a little bit higher? Certainly. I would say it could maybe get as high as 165, which is only about $2.75 more on it. But you're getting to the point where this is on borrowed time now um, as these tech stocks are getting crazy here in terms of moves. I mean, think about this. Netflix up another $22 today, 6.5%. The stock is now up over $120 from the lows on Netflix. And what's amazing about that is that you know, you're talking about over a 50% move on the stock now, just since late December. December 26th is when it put in its low. So December 26th, here we are, January 15th, the stock is up over 50%. So to me, you know, I don't care how good the news is, that's a little bit of an excessive move and probably due for a retrace back to about 300 you know, I don't think it's going back to 220 anytime soon, you know, maybe in the next major, major collapse in the market, but not in the near term here. But ultimately, that should be a really good opportunity on the short side. I really like Netflix on the short side from up here. All right. Uh, let me see what else we have on the radar. Again, financials have had quite a move. Let's take a look at the XLF. We'll finish off with that. Uh, XLF, maybe a little bit more upside here on XLF. I see the 50 MA in this little pivot low right here. So that could be where the XLF is headed. Um, bank earnings will continue to come out this week. JP Morgan reported today was pretty nasty earnings, but look at the turnaround in JPM. It opened sharply lower. It was trading as low as 98.60. It's now at 102. That's an amazing reversal. So you got to tip your cap to that stock. That's amazing. So bottom line is, 
Here we are at InTheMoneyStocks.com, pounding profits almost daily for swing trades. If you're someone who has money and you're investing, you got to do it right, folks. I mean, there is so much money to be made here in the market. I encourage you to get involved, profit with us, and understand what we use. We use the PPT methodology. It is a proprietary methodology developed by my partner and I. Uh, it's been tested for the last 12 years, never with a losing year. It's amazing, folks. The differences are profits of, you know, do people make 30% on their account or 50 or 100% on their I mean, that's the type of returns we're talking here. So it's awesome. All right, guys, have a great one. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. There's a free trial until we launch the new website. Once the new website's launched, no more free trial. We're getting rid of it, but for now there is. So take advantage now. Check it out. Take care.